Welcome back everyone to another Title 2 law video. With today's discussion, we'll be looking into the well-known freedom fighter group who share the same endgame goals of making the frontier independent of the IMC, but of course, for a price. The 6-4 are one of the many factions participating in the following war who are compromised of mercenary freelancer pilots from all walks of life. They operate on a code unique among bounty hunters. Instead of selling their services to the highest bidder, Frontier freedom on their terms is a higher priority, but if they get the opportunity to be paid handsomely for their service, then they won't turn down the offer. We currently do not know how many members there are in total, but currently we do know four. Gates, who is the commander of the group, Bear, Davis and Droz. Gates, who is the section commander of the group, is a well-known and skilled pilot who holds a sympathetic view for the militia's cause. As a commander, it is her job to make sure the core values of the group is ingrained within a unit, teamwork and camaraderie. Commander Gates embodies the team motto well. She lives and breathes for the 6-4 and its members, taking pride in their elite status and treating the organisation like her own family, which explicitly says as much as herself. As a commander, she has a very casual relationship with her soldiers, almost sisterly and even a little crass but she's highly encouraging of our pilots while keeping them on task and completing objectives which have proven very effective. When taking on assignments, her main role is to not only support the group financially, but also work towards a better future for the frontier. This may mean she will turn down certain contracts that don't suit her goal or outright is completely inhumane, something that compared to the Apex Predators, make her morally respected by those in an alpha unit. Davis and Jaws are the definition of bromance that you would see from a college frat party. These two are never seen alone and do act very odd from time to time, but if you were to ask the main leader what she thought of them, she would say they are the life of any party. Their bro-ish but loving demeanour has made them very popular with fans of the game and are an available faction to play with in Frontier Defence. As of recently from a lore drop from Apex Legend, Evelyn Witt, Mirage's mother, mentioned that Jaws is her brother in a recent message making Joss a part of the Whip family and also biologically related to Mirage, which is quite amazing in terms of expanding on known NPCs. Bear now is a bit of a mystery. Not much information is known about him and his demeanour is welcoming but also similar to Gates, as in work hard with your team but get the job mainly done. The 6 forward history prior to the Battle of Typhoon is also currently unknown. However, during the engagement, the 6 4 made their first debut during the last stages of the battle following the reservation of an IMZ interstellar beacon by Jack Cooper. As part of the Blackbird Squadron, they assisted the Marauder Corps forces in chasing down and boarding the IMZ Draconis in an effort to secure the Ark. In this battle, we managed to see what the group was made of and truly to their words, they flawlessly cleared out rooms of IMZ soldiers with precise hits while also keeping to the humour that they offer from time to time. During the air battle of the mission, the 6-4 would assist Pilot Cooper in taking control of the IMS Malta, they helped Cooper clear the infantry surrounding the ship's anti-air guns, then joined him on the ship to clear his main hangar and bridge. After the Malta changed course, they provided cover fire during Cooper's battle with Viper by providing him with some cover and Titan health. Later, the 6-4 would keep control of the IMC battleship and eventually proceed to utilise the Malta to prevent Cooper from being surrounded by IMC forces during his confrontation with Sloane. After BT sacrificed herself to stop the full weapon from detonating and Cooper got off of the planet, the 6-4 were also able to escape Typhoon prior to destruction. Sometime following or after the Battle of Typhoon, Dross and Davis left the 6-4 for precisely unknown reasons and then forming the Last Resort, a faction designed for protecting the harvesters and countering the IMC threat. Many people theorise that both Davis and Draws are still part of the 6-4 but as a splintered group, sort of how the IMC is the main warring faction but have many other smaller factions within it that work in different areas and operations. With that being the case, it begs the question, if Titanfall 3 was to be created, who would take over from these two, since we are so familiar with them in Titanfall 2? All of these will have to wait another day once we get a better understanding of the universe. For the current moment, this is the most up-to-date lore that we have for the 6-4. So if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and a sub, and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny and Titanfall 2 content if you do that type of stuff, link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you on the next one.